Hi, I'm Fixed It. A really irritating feature of the MAQ 16 is the fact that it doesn't actually have a power switch. So I'm going to be modding this one in order to uh, stick a switch on the front. The power that comes in comes across a rectifying diode. I've lifted one end of the diode and put a pin in one place. So I'm going to be connecting the switch between uh, the diode and the new pin. To lift the diode I use this great little component. It's a paper clip soldered into a loop with a hook on the end. You put the loop around your finger, the hook around the component and apply the heat from the soldering iron. The component end comes off, no burns, no mess. The next thing to do was to drill a hole in line with the rest of the uh, pots. And then I uh, selected this old single push switch that looks remarkably like it should have been on the MAQ in the first place. The main thing to watch when you're drilling the hole of course is to make sure you don't hit the uh, printed circuit board at the back. As you can see I've uh, fitted the, the switch and it looks remarkably like it ought to have been there all the time. Um, what I need to do now is just wire it in at the back. Okay we can see the uh, switch over there on the right hand side uh, with the uh, blue and the brown cable. Um, I've decided to use some heavy due to UK mains cable uh, for the connection um, mainly because it's got a um, thick uh, white plastic sheath which should stop the wires from making a nuisance of themselves and keeping them away from everything else um, we can have a look now at the uh, the points where I'm going to be soldering um, there's a diode there just to the right of that capacitor and the pins over on uh, where my finger is over on the other side um, it should be a pretty straightforward solder job. Obviously, try not to get the uh, diode too hot. So, plenty of solder on the diode first, and plenty of solder on the cable, and then just put them together. To protect the uh, solder joint, I've decided to use some heat shrink tubing. Um, I had some blue and brown line around. Um, remember to slide these onto the uh, wires before you solder. If you haven't got any then obviously you can just use some um, electrical tape wrapped around the joint afterwards. As you can see the uh, cables in place um, and the heavy duty wire is um, looping quite nicely. The heat shrink was really necessary because you can see how close that um, cable is to the, um, the diodes and against the metal work and you wouldn't want it shorting out. So as I say you could use some electrical tape on the side panel but the heat shrink worked really well. All that's left to do is to test the unit now it's back in the rack so we'll switch it on and set it to play. This has been a really useful mod, quite simple to do. Um, I was forever catching the uh, power plug at the back of the unit when messing about the back of the rack so this will save it and um, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the video. As you can see the switch really does look as if it should have always been there and it works really really well this has been fixed it doing the maq 163 mod hope you'll come back and see some more i'll finish with some uh, psychedelic video and music